Hello everybody, and welcome back to Tesla Effect, a Tex Murphy adventure. And last time, we looked around a lot for clues and things. And one in particular, to get a uh, screwdriver. Now, my brain is not the smartest brain in the world, but it... Uh, let me um, show you where my brain was thinking. So, let's go downstairs real quick. Ooh, the shag. Really ties the room together. Um, anyway, so you go into this room, yeah? And you come in here, both these, open to enter this room here. Correct? Uh, well, let's just go through here real quick. Um, so, my brain assuming, well, those both lead into this room. My brain also believed that the curtains in this room also lead into that room. But if I were smart enough to realize, there's no door there. at all. It kind of surprises me that I didn't actually just go through it back into this hallway. Um, but I, I, I totally walked past this a million times. Oh look! Granny's purse. Granny's hat. Oh my goodness. Uh, close that. Close that. Anything in the bottom drawer? Nope. But you know what we really need from here? Besides shoes or blocks of wood? Is this. Alarm. I've always wanted one of these. Yep. They're good for reaching items just out of my grasp or in a dangerous situation. Yeah. So, we got that. That was smart. Yeah, I scoured this place for ever until I walked past that and I was like, wait a second. And yeah, then my brain kicked in and it's like, wow, you are so dumb right now. That's fine. We got the grapple now, which means we got the screwdriver. Means we can get to anyone with the adventure. I got a driver. Yeah, a screwdriver. Gonna use it on these cogs. Then I'm gonna take the cog and I'm gonna put it in the fire. Well, maybe I should get something to place the cog in the fire with. No! Put it in the fire with your hands, Tex. Well, yeah, that'll work. And then I'm going to use the hammer on it. Perfect. God Mine. Give me. Be put back. Perfect. Uh, just put, put the cog back. Oh, should I probably look at that spot there? Yeah. Perfect. Now we can trek down into the abyss. Eh, I'm just going to make sure there's nothing back there. Nope. All right, continuing on. Literally, I just did a puzzle. And you want me to do another one? What is this all about? Um. Wow, that Morlock is a lethal hazard. But it's energy driven, so maybe I could short circuit him somehow. Like getting him wet. So, Morlocks are... Holograms? I'm confused here. What am I looking at right now? Alright, uh, so I gotta short circuit him? Turn the light off. Turn the light on. Turn the light off. 
I'm guessing if I walk out there, it means I die. So... What I, I think I, what I need to do is I need to get the water to move this direction, so... I need to get these to go down. Which also means... Okay, so that's gonna do that. This one does. All right. <laughs> I don't quite know what just happened. I'm assuming terrible things. Um, alright, so yeah, that took me a little bit longer than I anticipated to do, but that's fine. Oh, that pipe has a big hole in it. Yeah, there we go. Woo, that was loud. And that was an angry Morlock? I don't under- I don't really understand what a Morlock is. I'm sorry. I guess it's just- what is this? Warning! Power failure system offline! How about we go- Flick it back on. Now is it online? Swipe card here. Well, let's uh swipe the card there. Thank you. Something tells me no one was coming in here for cheap eye surgery. Yeah, probably not. That seems like yeah, a bad idea. Make sure this place was soundproof. Wow. This is Mad Scientist Lab 101. What is this? Can I look at that? No, just... What's that say? It kills... Uh... I don't know, it's too small of text for my eyeballs. Oh, there it is. Uh... Something... The... Kills Stanford White on roof. Garden? Okie dokie. That sounds fun. There's more books in here than in my county library. It's a chemical mixer for creating medicine. I'll need to... I got the chemical to go oh, in the chem... This medicine should control Manus's pain. Okay. So, do I have... Oh, I do. Okay. Cool. So, Valerian Flower Serum. Interesting. It's kind of weird that there's like one poking right out of the middle there. Uh, bad test. Brass. Wrench. Equals. Base. There's that little squiggly there. Whatever. What in God's green earth is this? So much more stuff, guys! Whoa, what is this? The intro si cider? 
That's the Interocitor IQ measurement system. Oh! Just this baby out and see what a genius I am. Uh, don't text. You may not like what you find. <laughs> Dr. Zaius was right. A man like you is inferior to the simian in every way. <laughs> oh my god, I would love to have one of those. That'd be amazing. Oh god. This machine monitors electrical activity in your heart. Oh. See, I didn't know that. Oh, well, I guess that means. Oh, it takes us like something unethical happened in here. Very unethical. And unsanitary, for that matter. I've assembled the spirit radio. Tonight will be my first attempt to contact my husband. The radio is working. I hear voices that are incoherent, uh, eerie, and uh, tantalizing. There must be some way to amplify the power. <sighs> my last attempt was a near disaster, similar to what happened to Tesla back in 1899. The frequency caused a vibration that increased until I, oh, I thought the house would split in two. I had to smash the radio. Now I have to start all over. I don't want to get my hopes too high, but I believe I've made contact. I brought the radio into the lab, and I swear that being close to Charles's cryo chamber has intensified the signal. I'm sure it's his voice, but I can't understand what he's saying. I've recorded hours of the voice and had experts analyze the audio from every angle. We've deciphered three words. Void, return, immortal. I've reached an impasse. I wonder if the Tesla egg... Could it amplify the radio's power? It's been weeks since I've heard Charles's voice on the spirit radio. I wonder if the Gideon parasites have moved ahead without me and brought him back to life. It's been years since I made an entry in this video journal. Charles is dead and lost to me forever. And uh, I will die soon. The translator lives... And one way or another, whoever sees this, Mantis, Mason, it's up to you to stop the translator. <sighs> Stopping the translator isn't going to be easy, and the Tesla egg and spirit radio seem to be the keys. Somehow, the information Margaret Leonard took to the grave needs to be uncovered. Is that even possible? I have an eerie feeling it is. I have an eerie question. What is the spirit radio? Is it no, this? Is something you don't typically see in a residential home? No, I don't think it is. She talked very much about the spirit radio in. Glass is shattered. Was something trying to get in or out? It was very cryptic how she talked about it. Um, having to smash it. And all that good stuff. So, what I'm wondering is, could the spirit radio not be a thing, but rather a person? And by a person, I mean Mantis. Could it be Mantis that is the spirit radio? Because th the reason I say that is because at the beginning of the video it showed her messing around with Mantis's body. And then she said she had to smash it. Looks like something unethical happened in here. And she has a um, body buried in the garden. 
I think I'm on to it, guys. I can't say for sure, but I think I am. What was that noise? Did I miss something? Do I need to be backed out here to touch more things? I don't see anything in here to touch. Let's see, inventory, what else do I have? I just have that to get give to Mantis. Nothing back behind here. No, I think that's pretty much it. I don't... I don't really know what else I could do. Stop doing that! Whatever. Weird old... Thing. I waited near the front door, ready for him to show up, but uh, not as ready as I should have been. Sorry. Sorry. I can't control it. Uh... Strike a deal. Tell you what, give me the Tesla egg, we'll call it even. You're the one that prays, aren't you? Yes. I am Mantis. Uh. Usual genius. Praying Mantis. Like the bug. That was Margaret's call. So she did send you. Hmm. It just seems strange she took such a risk coming to see you so she could give you the injection. How do you know about that? Because I was there. And she wanted you to forget everything you had done. <sighs> yeah, well, she pretty much accomplished that. Yeah. And here you are. She seems kind of strange. Strange? You know what I find strange? I saw a video of Margaret torturing you. She wasn't torturing me. She had been helping me for a very long time. But you're a Morlock. She made you this way. You can't blame her. I chose this path. I volunteered to take one of the greatest technological leaps of all time, crowd technology. I was one of the founding members of the Tesla Legacy Society. Along with others, I allowed myself to die and be brought back. We dreamed of waking to a world reborn. But we found ourselves worse off than before. And worst of all, we no longer were the people we had been. The cry of sleep had unforeseen complications. Well, at least cryogenics is now partially covered under major medical. <laughs> Only a few of us escaped the physical deformities from the freeze. Worse is what it did to our minds. It drove us to madness. So how come the Tesla Society hasn't taken care of you guys? Certainly the burden shouldn't just fall on Margaret. The Tesla Lega Society and its creations are no more. So what happened? I mean, I know a little of your history since Charles Johansson joined you. Johansson. I believed in him once. He was our martyr. We carried his work to the foot of his holy crowd chamber. We knew that one day he would return to take us to this glorious future. And he did return. Yeah. He was now the translator. He was delusional only as the greatest zealots are. He believed he knew the will of Tesla. He was gonna create a gateway, a celestial conduit between heaven and earth. He called it the immortal coil. Gotcha. He was determined to build it at any cost. And in the end, we banished him from the society, but he didn't stay banished. Months later, he returned with a small group of men, led by the one known as Slade. They attacked the facility, sparing no one. I saw Slade himself put a gun to my wife's head while she begged for her life. He pulled the trigger.
When it was over, they removed every trace of the Tesla Legacy Society. Its files, its equipment. There was only one thing left behind. And that was? A key bit of information. The spirit radio frequencies. They were stored in the clouds that Charles never knew about. And these were important. It may be the only way to stop Charles from activating the immortal coil. And that would be... bad? It's very bad. As in splitting the planet in two bad. I'll tell you where to find the egg. But I need you to find those frequencies first. Before I head off to the Tesla Legacy Society, I get a call from Thompson Ald inviting me over to his house. Sounds like he's ready to talk. Any luck locating the spirit radio? I've got some leads, but it all seems to tie to something called the Immortal Coil. I found something that you might find interesting. They did some experiments with interfacing brain circuitry. You might have been one of the first test subjects. I'm sorry. Memories are simply electronic impulses. And we are the sum of our memories. Now, on a cellular level, you're a completely different person than you were seven years ago. But your essence is exactly the same as it was that night with Chelsea outside of the Golden Pagoda. How do you know about Chelsea? Well, first, and you may already know this, Chelsea is Margaret Leonard's daughter. Now, Margaret had lost her husband, and she was overwhelmed. So she put Chelsea in the care of a mutant family, the Bandos, and then tried to forget that she'd ever had a child. That's pretty cold. Well, it was a decision that she's regretted for decades. And years later, when she found Chelsea living at the Ritz, she rented a room so she could be close, but never revealed her true identity. Yeah, and that's why we got abducted. Now, Margaret was being funded by Gideon Enterprises. And an opportunistic manager named Dalton Fisk found out that Margaret's husband had stolen some very important documents. The Tesla cash. Dalton tried to force Margaret into reanimating Charles, but she refused and then disappeared. But then Dalton discovered that she had a daughter, and he came after her. Now, this much I can tell you. She's alive and well and living a new life. But I hope you'll understand that even if I could tell you more, I wouldn't. Margaret was so frightened for Chelsea, she gave her away. I mean, if I have to, I will too, because I never want to put Chelsea's life in danger. I'm glad that you see it that way. It's really for the best. And now you have your own new life to lead, which reminds me, I meant to get you the canister. Uh, yeah, except I can't remember my new life. Well, maybe that's not such a bad thing. But if you decide to use the spirit radio to try to get answers, you'll need help. Wait here. This is where I come in. How about we go get that cryo chamber with old Maggie's head in it? We can't let him have it. Uh, hold on, partner there. No need to get violent or anything. Let's just see if we can work this out, okay? God. Oh, up there, is it? <laughs> You're hurt pretty bad. We've got to get you to the hospital. No, you have to stop him. If they get inside her head, it will undo everything that Mason was fighting for. Look, I know what they're after, and I think I can beat him to it. It's the Tesla egg, so let's just get you out of here. Go! Go! You're coming with me. Come on. I couldn't shake the look of fear I saw in all's eyes as he was lying in a pool of his own blood. Slade had blown a hole through the little man without even a second thought. Could I really have been partners with someone like that? Maybe I did change over the last seven years, but if I did, it has to be possible to change back. I need a weapon I can use against these psychopaths. I knew my only hope was somewhere at the Tesla Institute. Slade's trumped me at every corner, but the ace may be at Tesla. <laughs> 